Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at a little bit more detail now in brushes. So we can start off with the red brush so that you can see it. We're going to look at flow in a minute, but we're going to go to this more button here. Brings up, can be a slightly alarming uh, thing here with lots of controls, but they're not difficult. In fact, a lot of them are already up here. So the size slider changes the size of your brush. You can see up here, you've got some like a simulation of it. And it's exactly the same as width. If you change this here, this will change and vice versa. So that size. Accumulation is a, an opacity control, but it's an overall control. If you change your brush, the accumulation might change with the brush. So if I turn this down and I paint with it, I get a medium red. And if I t change this up, I get a darker red, even though opacity is 100% in both. But if I turn it down, Turn this down, then turn opacity down. Then when I paint again, it's fainter again. So the accumulation kind of puts a ceiling over opacity. Hardness here is exactly the same as hardness up there. They'll just mirror one another. Spacing here. Now this is a really interesting thing. So if we are painting here, let's put the opacity back up. If we're drawing a line, sometimes what you'll see when you're drawing, you see like a blobbiness of this is not a smooth edge to it. And you think, what's going on here? And what it's about is the way that the brushes paint. And, and it paints in blobs. It literally goes blob, 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 blob. And the spacing is the space between the blobs. So if I turn this up, you can see what's happening up here. So when I paint, it goes blob, 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 blob. They're equally spaced. If I'm doing patterns, that actually could be nice. And it's useful in all sorts of other things. But if you've got to know about this, so when I've got this down, if I just turn this all the way down, I've now got a smooth painting edge. So why don't I do that? Well, one of the reasons is flow. Let's just turn these things off. Well, let's get a bit more space. There we go. So flow is like the amount of paint you put down on each one. Watch what happens if I turn spacing up a bit here so you can see there's kind of overlaps going on. But I've still got a bit of overlaps between the blobs. And I turn the flow down. And you can see here there's kind of an overlap thing. So flow again is an opacity thing. So if I click once and click again, I just get that the color that it is. But if I drag, I'm painting. You can see it's overlapping, but not only is it overlapping, when it overlaps, the colour gets more intense. In other words, more ink effectively is being put down, as opposed to when you just paint with opacity, in which case it's just all the same thing. So if I paint backwards and forwards again, here I can get up to the full red. So in other words, I can add, I can build up layers without taking my finger off the mouse or the paintbrush off the uh, canvas. So that's what flow is, and often you're, you're balancing flow and spacing together. When you select brushes here, you changes these things, yeah? And literally any brush that you, you select is simply a collection of these. And you can effectively save them any brush you like and then reload your, that, that particular combination of these. One thing more thing here, let's look at shape and rotation. And the way that we need to do this is let's bring the size back up again. Let's make the uh, solid so you can see this. I turn the spacing up so I can see these are circles. If I change the shape, look what happens. As you can see it, it goes down to something like you know that, so it squeezes the shape. And I can also turn this the rotation here so that rotates. So if I set it like that. Then I bring the spacing all the way down. Now when I paint, I've got like an italic paintbrush. So I can have that kind of effect. You know, and I can rotate it out at different angles and set it to whatever I want it to be. So there you go. Those, those are a whole bunch of things that you can do. And this lets you control a lot more how your brush is putting down things, including if it's cloning, including if it's erasing, 
or anything else. It's the way that this works. And selecting a brush just sets up a bunch of these. Okay, that's enough for now. Hope you enjoyed that and thank you very much for watching.